Vinny again. Hey, we're going to talk today about finding your next deal. See, it's so important that you are able to find out first which part, what state, what area, what city, what you know, intersection or whatever, what zip code you want to buy the deal, right? Once you find out where you are heading, uh, where you want to buy that fourplex, eightplex, twelveplex, or twenty units or hundred units, all you have to do is then start talking to brokers because you want to get an off-market deal. What's an off-market deal? Just like nobody knows about it, and you are the first one, or maybe couple of three, four, five people that the broker will tell that property to. That's where you want to get in. But you don't get there right away. No way at all. You have to build relationships with the brokers. And, you know, in our course, we'll share with you how to really talk to them, how to talk to them every 10 days or 15 days and get to know them. And you ask them, hey, I'm really interested in purchasing, uh, you know, fourplex or eightplex or twelveplex in your neighborhood, in your, you know, where you are selling. So talk to listing brokers. That's the number one thing. Look into the realtor.com, look into LoopNet, look into some other places. Lots of different brokers have websites. So you could actually say apartment for sale in the zip code that you want to purchase, or you could say apartment brokers, you know, uh, apartment brokers in that zip code that you want. But the next thing is to talk to them on the phone or meet with them or have a breakfast or lunch or anything like that and let them know that you are sincerely looking at purchasing, you know, four units or eight units or 12 units, whatever it is. Don't waste their time. I hate when a lot of people waste my time or your time, anybody's time. So you want to be very, very careful who you're talking to and you are giving them full respect. They will smoke you out. I'm telling you, if you don't know the real script, you know how to talk to the brokers, then it's going to be tough game. So you do want to learn some techniques, practice in front of the mirror and things like that and have that script down so that when you're talking to them. The other part is you want to make sure you take active participation action right away when they share with you the financials, we call it, you know, financials like the rent roll or uh, P&Ls, profit and loss statements like that. You got to underwrite it, it's called. Underwrite it, look through the numbers, the ratios and everything. We teach you all that, see, we teach you all that. But the good part is you got to reply back to the broker. Talk to them if this deal is going to work or not work and what are some of the policies or maybe some questions you want to ask or ask them about the capex, which is capital, how much capital has been put into appliances and roof and parking lot and all the different air conditioning, which is again boilers, all those things, right? So you want to have a dialogue with the brokers so that they understand you and they say, you know what, this guy is genuine. Hey, I really have the privilege to let you know on a great, great news. I have closed on 35 deals. You might say, Vinny, that's all? Hey, that's pretty good. Almost $500 million worth of deals and I've closed on all of them from letter of intent to the closing. How did it happen? Because I got lots of great relationship with the brokers and they kept giving me off market deals. And actually in my book, Apartment Syndication Made Easy, I designed the term called napkin listing. Hold on, you say, Vinnie, there is a pocket listing. What are you talking about? Napkin listing. Because see, the brokers, I trained them to give me the listing, the name of the uh, apartment complex when they were having a meeting with the seller. <laughs> How good it is. It's totally off market. I mean, he's giving me the address before even he told anybody else. And that was the reason of my success also because the brokers started liking me and they said, hey, Vinny is not a, you know, he's a straight shooter. He has the money and he's syndicating deals, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to run with the product. I want to sell it. Broker's goal is to sell the apartment 
duplex, fourplex, eightplex, whatever it is, right? So you want to really make sure that you are giving them full respect and communication, respect in communication, send them some gifts and, you know, send them some cards and ask them about their hobbies and things because if you endear yourself and talk to them often, hold on, that's the biggest thing. A lot of time people just call them once a month and then two, three months they don't hear from you. You're down the pile, right on the dirt. You got to keep up with them every 10 days, every 15 days and talk to them and share with them some articles or if they're doing some closings, brokers are doing closings. It's out in the you know news and things like that, congratulating them, texting them, them, emailing them, calling them, e all those things. See, all those things are very, 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 very important to really build the relationship with the brokers who are going to give you business. And if they like you, if they really start knowing, you know, that you are the performer, you're going to close on it, you will have success, I promise you. But remember, their time is valuable, just like yours is. So you want to take every effort to make them really worth their while that they think about you and you have heard that saying right the squeakiest wheel gets the grease hold on what i just said listen to that squeakiest wheel gets the grease don't be very very nasty or don't you know uh, bother them that much but you ask them hey is it okay i'm really really interested in purchasing the apartment and i promise you i'll let you know if it fits my criteria or not but you got to return their phone calls you got to make sure that they are understanding your true sense who you are and don't bluff with the brokers you know don't say hey i have so much and so much and i've got a lot of knowledge they hate it because you can be very open and frank hey, i'm just a brand new investor i'm learning more and more i have the equity i have the money my partners they have the money also and we can qualify for the loan quickly we are looking for 15 unit apartment or 8 unit apartment or 30 unit apartment or 100 unit apartment and i know you could help us and I want to build the relationship with you so that we can really take it to the next level. I want to buy just not one apartment. I want to buy two, three, four, five economies of scale and things like that. So good luck to you in your quest for your very first deal. I know you're going to crush it. Be sure to go back to these modules, these courses and learn more and more and more. And, you know, understand the script, the psychology, the mindset. Those things are so very important in doing it right. So this is Vinny Chopra. I'll see you on another time in this course.